AI creatives, let's get straight to it. I'm talking about this one feature that is about to change the clip art game forever inside of Canva. So let's talk about how I went from this to this to this with just a couple of tweaks and changes. But first, let me show you how to create your prompt so you can get nice beauties just like this. So first and foremost, I know a lot of y'all like Etsy or if you run your own store, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure you know what your target audience is. So of course, I love to make clip art for black women. So in this particular chat GPT, I am using the 4.0 version, as you can see here. They also have a free version. I am on the paid version. What I do is I ask it to list top trending Etsy clip art ideas for black woman clip art. You could just have it list top trending uh, clip art ideas, and then you want to list whatever your niche is. So it could say t-shirt designs, whatever it is you want to do, you go ahead and list that. So now, of course, ChatGPT is going to give me what the top trending Etsy clip art ideas are for black women. And as you can see, we have self-care, girls trip, career, seasonal, fitness, and of course, I have paid tools as well. So I mix and match this with the paid tools that I use, such as Insight Factory, or if you have E-Rank or Everbee, those are paid tools that you can use to do research specifically for Etsy shops owners, okay? So now that I have that, I wanted to do something mixed with Girl Trip, and I want it to be a denim look because I noticed that denim is on a rise. And of course, it's starting to feel nice outside, especially if, you, if you're in the East Coast, you know what I'm saying. Now, when you're on there, you're going to ask it to provide you with clip art ideas for black women in denim and travel. So remember I said, we're going to do black women with denim and travel mixed together. So now it's going to give us some ideas. So this is the next prompt once I figure out what I want to do. And this is how I'm going to get some different ideas. So, okay, if you don't know or you can't come up with your own ideas or you just have so many different ideas, you could always use ChatGPT to help you. So now you have airport fashion looks, luggage in essentials, city explorer, tropical, denim backpacking, all of that above. So, of course, I want to do some airport fashion looks with denim. This is the one that I picked. So now that I've decided that this is the idea that I want to do, I want to go ahead now and ask chat GPT. So this is just as easy as one, two, three to give me some prompt ideas to give me a list. And of course, for my prompts, I always want it to be watercolor. You might like a different design style. And I just put in my specifics of what I always want it to be, white background only. And in this case, I want her eyes to be brown and I want her nails to be yellow. So ChatGPT is going to give me two responses. Sometimes you might not get the two responses, but this is a newer version of ChatGPT. So it's giving me response one and response two. And it's gonna ask you at the bottom, which one do you prefer? So based on this, you're gonna copy and paste either or, and then you're gonna go ahead and do this. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to copy this response here, and you could copy either response. And then I'm gonna move this over to Dolly, okay? And you'll go to Explore GPTs, and you'll look for Dolly. I'm still using Dolly, because I do like the way ChatGPT generates images in Dolly. And if you're getting value from this and you want to make clip art designs just like this and you're looking to have clip art delivered to you by me personally and you want to join my exclusive AI clip art design club, go ahead and type design in the chat so that way I can send you the link to sign up. So now we're going to go ahead and copy that prompt. Remember, ChatGPT created this prompt based on that one, two, three step. And now we're going to see what images we get from this. And then I'm going to show you how to take this and move it into ChatGPT so we could change up the colors and do different things like that. All right, so I'm going to download that. And now I'm going to go back because I want to go ahead and type in the second prompt that we have as well, which this is the second prompt. 
I'm gonna put this one in. And now we're gonna see what we get with this prompt. So now once I have the two images that I wanna use, I'm gonna bring it over into my Canva design workspace. Ooh, I like this one, this looks good. There are two different kind of styles, but I, I like both of them. So I'm gonna say regenerate. And we're gonna say, do not cut off your stuff. So sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. It really doesn't matter because I'm gonna show you how to use the Magic AI tools in order to change it as well. Okay, so we're gonna regenerate this and see what images we get. But I do like the ones that it generated. Okay, and this one is cool, so we'll take this one. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to uploads. I'm gonna upload these latest images that I have inside of my workspace i'm going to show you how you can easily change the colors all of these different things inside of it so you're going to notice and i am using the latest version of canva okay so shout out to canva for dropping their newest features hopefully you was the first million to get the new features so as you can see here you see this toolbar now appears, but you want to do this before you want to change the colors, make all your edits and changes before you actually start to use the magic tools. So while I'm here, I'm going to make all the changes that I want, meaning I'm going to change her skin complexion. I'm going to change the color of her jean jacket, all of that above. And I'm going to do that using this palette here. So the first thing I want to do is change the skin color. So here I already have the color palette that I want. I want to change these to brown. So you could leave this if you want like that two-tone look. You could leave the coffee colored look. But I want her to be nice, dark, and chocolate. Look at that. Beautiful, okay? And now what I want to do next is I'm going to change the color that she's wearing. So I could change it to a pink. And look at, do y'all see how everything that was blue changed to pink? So we could change this to the pink. We could change this to the yellow. But I like the pink, so we're going to rock out with the pink with the yellow nails. I'm feeling it. And then we'll see if this can actually change as well. Let's see. So this one, it, it kind of tints the color a little bit. So I'm just going to leave it the same color. But I love how I was able to get the chocolate look. So now what I could do is I could just duplicate this page right here. Because remember, you have to leave it in its original state for changing the colors in order to do that. So now I could change it to like this orangish color, this reddish. Oops, I'm using the wrong one. Let's go back. We got a highlight over this color. So now I could change it to the orange, the red, a, a lighter blue. So let's go ahead and use this lighter blue color here because I'm really loving this lighter blue color as well. And we'll make sure we keep her chocolate look. Okay, so now we have two. So now the next thing I want to do is I just want to drag this out and I'm always using the four corners. Put this at the bottom and I just want to get a little bit of her here back. So I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to go to magic expand. And look, if you like what you see on this screen here and you want to be a part of my exclusive AI design club where I give you prompts and I give you images every single month, go ahead and comment the word design below so I can invite you because it's going to be this low of a price for a limited time. Okay, so now as you can see, some of her hair is kind of like crimpy at the top there, so I don't want that one. I don't want that one, and I think this one is the best look, so I'm going to hit done. And now once I hit done, you'll see that we have everything and now I can finally remove the background. So now I'm going to remove the background and I'm going to get rid of this coffee cup and some of those other things because it's just no need to be there. So the magic eraser, zoom out some. I'm going to turn my brush up here and now I could just brush this out of the picture. You could also do a magic grab and grab this out so you'll just take your keypad or your mouse and just brush right over this coffee cup and get rid of it and i kind of got some of her bracelets so hopefully yeah so i'm gonna have to redo it let me just zoom in some more turn the brush up just a little bit more because i don't want to grab her bracelets 
So I'm going to just nicely go over as much as possible. And then we're going to go ahead and hit erase. And again, like I said, you could also hit grab and you'll also be able to grab this out. And now you can see here and then I'm going to turn this brush size down just a little bit. And of course, if you zoom all the way in, you put it to like a one. Now I could just erase that out. Bam. And now we have this nice design. We changed our skin complexion. And remember, let's bring in the original just so you can see like the major transformation in this. So if we look here, this is a super transformation. But listen, beautiful either way. And we would do the same exact thing to this image. So again, remember, you want to just make sure you're stretching this out. And the reason why I stretched this all the way out is because when I use the magic edit... Let me just zoom it down just a little bit. When I use the magic expand tool, I don't want it to pick up and add anything at the bottom. So we're going to do whole page again. And hopefully it gives me something very similar to what we just created in the first one with her hairstyle. So we just want to get a little bit of her hair back full. So we're going to wait for the generator to um, generate. So again, okay, this one is nice. The second one. The third one is nice as well. So we'll go ahead and go with the second one. And now what I want to do is I'm going to show you how to use the magic grab. So the first time we use the magic eraser, now we're going to use the magic grab. And what I want to grab is just this here. So now I'm going to click grab. And it's going to allow me to grab this. And then I'm just going to delete this out. And now I'm going to remove the background and boom so it still has a little bit of this piece here so i'm going to go ahead and use my magic eraser so you'll just zoom out at the bottom here's the here is the zoom out right here so you'll use this slider to zoom out sometimes if you have it all the way in you won't be able to see it but i can see this black line so i just want to get rid of this line here because that's some like weird signature that they need but now I have two different designs and it and it erased for me and I was able to change the color so we went from this to this and this is that one Canva feature that is gonna take you over the top when it comes to creating clip art and we could just use this and we could create a whole set if we wanted to of the same image change the different colors of you know of her skin do the same thing for this one and i could leave it in this original color um and you know change the different um i could leave this the skin tone here so let's say for instance we want to duplicate this and i could just go ahead and just change the colors so i could change this to the pink and then let's duplicate this and then we could change this to the blue oops hold on and then we could change this to the blue, right? And that way we'll have a set of the same look. Let's go ahead and go right here. And of course we will make all the edits, but the same look, so same color, same thing with here, but two different skin tones. Like this is a game changer. So if you like this and you want to be able to have access to the prompts that I utilize because I know you guys been asking and me to deliver a clip art to you just like this in a monthly Q&A with me, go ahead and leave the word design below so you can get my exclusive one-time offer that's going to only be available at the lowest price to the first 15 people. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe.